The square one of fashion is actually not one square. That would, of course, be too easy. The square one of fashion is composed of four squares. This is a story about simplicity. Let me introduce to you Madeleine Vionny. Here she is. How many of you know her? No, I didn't think so. She may look like a grandmother, but she's one of the most revolutionary fashion designers of the 20th century. Hers is a story of a twice-divorced woman from a very modest background who starts her career at the early age of 11 and will build one of the biggest, most celebrated, and most influential Parisian fashion houses. She challenges an entire industry. Her life mission to reduce, her life mission to discover the essence of design. Her lasting imprint is still felt today, a hundred years after she opened her first shop. She will conquer the world of fashion with four squares. Let me explain. Since the 16th century, the art of tailoring was based on a two-dimensional vision. Fabrics were cut into flat patterns. Like a puzzle, they were then assembled and stitched together. Endless seams were then necessary to create a three-dimensional volume. Vionnet thought differently. The body is seamless, she repeated, and she set out to create clothes that followed the natural curves of the female body. To achieve this, she had to challenge the fundamentals of sewing of her time, and she innovated by using all three dimensions of fabric. The length, the width, and the bias, the diagonal that dis dissects them. Now, the bias cut gave an elastic-like quality to the fabric, basically stretch before lycra. And with Madeleine Vionnet's bias cut, fashion finally went 3D. Her pioneering techniques will revolutionize the fashion industry. Just a second. <laughs> Now, to be fair, the bias cut actually existed for some time. Now, the men in the audience, how many of you own a tie? Okay, that's a fair amount. A tie is cut on the bias. And for women of the early 20th century, all of the interior of the bodices were cut on the bias. So why was this technique, this innovation, not used more readily? Well, like most things, the bottom line, cost. It wasn't cost effective because it required, one, a lot more fabric, and two, it was labor intensive. So with Madeleine Vionnet's four square, and with Madeleine Vionnet's four square dress, um, the first fully bias cut dress was born. Talk about stealth wealth. But how does she do this? Instead of draping um, on a, a, a live model, Madeleine Vionnet will use a small wooden mannequin. The, the reduced size will allow her to streamline and then reduce all of her dress patterns to their purest form. All of her creations will be based on the three archetypal shapes, the square, the rectangle, and the circle. So by now, you're probably wondering, what does this almost century-old design look like? Well, here it is. Madeleine Vionnet's four-squared bias-cut handkerchief dress. As fresh, as fresh as if it had just come off the runway. This dress has no buttons, no hooks, no zippers, no lining just four squares of bias-cut fabric held together by four seams. 
Your name relentlessly removes all superfluous design elements. In today's modern terms, basically the difference between a Blackberry and an iPhone. <laughs> For all of its magnificent purity, um, this garment's technical innovations went well, had much more impact. First, it was one size fits all. It was also so lightweight and easy to fold that it could take very little space when traveling. But most importantly, instead of needing over 60 minutes several times a day to be fastened in, hooked up, and laced in, women could actually get dressed all by themselves in 60 seconds flat. But wait. <laughs> Simplicity is difficult, and if I may quote Steve Jobs, simple can be harder than complex. You have to work really hard to get it down simply. But if you get there, you can move mountains. So take it one square at a time, or in Madeleine Vionnet's um, case, four squares. Her lesson to us, simplicity, never goes out of fashion. So keep it simple. Thank you.